Nary a flipper fin or feather was spotted by dock rangers at Wellington Central train station today. Rangers are on the lookout for little blue penguins after two had to be removed twice from under a sushi store near the main railway station yesterday. They were put into a nesting box on the waterfront. Michael Crop was out there at the crack of dawn and he's filed this report. It's an hour before sunrise, the city slowly getting into gear, trains are rolling into the station, the traffic is starting to build, but the little blue penguins started their day much earlier. They've probably gone out to sea to, to swim where they fish and, you know, start the day just filling up their bellies with food, getting in prime condition for nesting. This is Robert Ash, a senior ranger at the Department of Conservation. He helped relocate the pier to a new nesting box among the rocks on the harbour's edge last night. I was just providing them some nesting materials so that um, they could make a, a better home there. Like when we put them in the box, they came out, checked out the neighbourhood, and then they went back into the box and started cooing to each other, which is a really good sign that they're comfortable and relaxed. Korora grow up to 25 centimetres tall and weigh about a kilogram. At the moment, they're peering up and looking for a good nest, and if they like it, they'll return night after night. When they're not suitable, they'll look for another place. So hopefully we've given them enough hints that this is not a suitable place. The response to the two penguins has so far involved several police officers, dock rangers, passers-by, the odd journo, and now international media. Police in New Zealand have been called to a sushi bar in the capital, Wellington, to remove a number of blue penguins who may have entered through freshwater pipes attracted by the smell. A sushi bar in the New Zealand capital, Wellington, has received the highest commendation from connoisseurs of raw fish. A brood of penguins took up residence under the eatery and established a nest. All that's a bit of an overreaction, says one taxi driver who parks next to the sushi shop around five o'clock each morning. Cops come and shining the torches and everything. That was yesterday morning. I give this lady a new whale bag in case they come out so she could stick them in her bag, but they never come out. He says there are easier ways to catch penguins if you're impatient. You should have just got the fire department here and hosed them out. They won't drown because the bloody penguins. But Scratch, who'd stopped by on his way to work, thought it was great. They're great things, aren't they? I mean, imagine that. What, what, a, what a great place Wellington's becoming. Carca flying over, Tui flying past you here, and our penguins walking up the streets. Doc's Robert Ash says while the birds are fragile and at risk, their return around the harbour is a vote of confidence for the countless volunteer hours that go into pest trapping. We're seeing this real rewilding of our urban spaces, and, and it's just... It's lovely because these birds and uh, animals were here before us and now they're, they're coming back and, and we're just learning new ways to live with them. But he says there's plenty more that can be done to keep Kororoa safe in Wellington where these precious natives must cross busy roads twice a day to reach the shelter of the bush. Omaru has a really interesting penguin area and they've actually created special culverts that go under roads that allow penguins to, to cross safely under roads. If we think really carefully about how we can live with penguins and build infrastructure that's compatible with them. We can we can have both. We can have our roads and, and have our penguins. But there aren't many roads like that in Wellington and the City Council says they're probably too expensive and disruptive to install. In the meantime, Mr Ash urges drivers to be careful at dawn, dusk and night on coastal roads and asks dog owners to keep their pooches under control so that one day stories about these precious little waddlers entering our CBDs won't seems so exceptional. In Wellington for Checkpoint, call Michael Crop there, Nay.